loves, my name is Amber, welcome to my channel. I got the opportunity to stash a couple of get back necklaces around Southern California, and be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for your own chance to find the last one. Get Back Necklaces is a kind of beachy lifestyle company that primarily focuses on selling St. Christopher necklaces, which are these like pendant necklaces that are very, very big in like Southern California surf culture. They have a huge history. They were very, very big in the 70s to be exchanged as love tokens. So it was often a sign of like being exchanged as going steady or just a sign of friendship. And as that history and the kind of legacy of the St. Christopher necklace has grown, so has the traditions that are associated with it. One of them being to share them on travels with new people and friends that you meet. And because of this tradition, Get Back Necklaces actually sometimes partners with some of their ambassadors to give them the opportunity to stash some of the St. Christopher pendants around their locations in order for fun new strangers to be able to find and take those home. I happen to be one of those ambassadors that they chose to partner with, so Get Back actually sent me a little goodie box of necklaces for me to stash around different locations in Southern California. And I'm very, very excited to be able to share some little adventure vlogs of where exactly I stashed those, as well as give away one at the end of this video. Now, if you didn't have the opportunity to be able to snag one of these for yourself and you have any interest in getting one, you can go ahead and go to the Get Back Necklace website and use the code AMBERCAITLIN20 for 20% off of your entire order. So as for the specific necklaces that they sent me to hide for you guys, they were all in their medium size, however the company does offer small and large sizes as well. But first up we have their sandy blonde colorway, which is actually the one that I am wearing right now. They did go ahead and tell me to keep one of them for myself for doing the stash and then to hide the rest of which we have the pink and white colorway, the silver and baby blue colorway, the silver and petal colorway, as well as the white and baby blue colorway. So like I said, I went ahead and stashed these around various locations in Southern California, the first of which being Julian, California. Hey guys, I am here in the town of Julian, California to do my first get back stash and I have chosen the location of Regulars Wanted, a little coffee shop and cafe that they have in town because it's actually the filming location of a horror movie. Under its previous name, the building used to be called Granny's Kitchen and it was actually a filming site featured in the film Beneath the Leaves. You can find it on Netflix currently. I haven't personally seen it yet. I tried watching it with somebody once and they just could not hang after the first like two minutes and I just haven't gotten a chance to go and watch it for myself, but I thought it would be really, really cool to feature a horror movie filming location as the site for my first get back stash. Oh my god, I am so awkward. I didn't want to be like intrusive or anything with filming, so I tried to wait until the town was like a little bit slowed down because it was a weekend, so like very big with tourists and all of that, which is like exciting. So that way, like it'll hopefully be found. My goal is for it to be found like in the morning once the coffee shop is like open and in full swing. And it's been closed for like a couple hours, so I thought that the coffee shop would be vacant, but there were a bunch of employees inside. I don't think anybody saw me, so we're good. I did just look a little bit shady to any passerby for a little bit. They had like a little photo op like frame for the coffee shop, so I taped it onto there, so it should definitely be somewhere that is found pretty quickly. I'm just... Ugh. I have yet to do very much vlogging in person, so I still haven't gotten over the like public shame of existing as a human being in a public forum. Um, so we'll have to work with that, but it's stashed. <laughs> 
Now I do know that I say in the vlog footage that the coffee shop that I chose to stash this at was a horror movie filming location and I've actually since I stashed that I actually went and watched the movie. It was questionable to say the least but um the coffee shop was actually probably one of the least featured filming locations within the entire movie compared to like all of the other locations. Like there were so many different locations around that town that I could have chosen to stash the necklace at. Because like I was actually around the town when the movie was being filmed and I was always told that like they were filming in that one particular coffee shop and that was where it was like posted online because they're like oh we're gonna be closed that day for filming and bop 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 bop. And you like can't even fully tell what scene is filmed in the location. So I definitely could have picked a better location to work with the theme of like, oh, I want to embrace the horror aspects, but it's fine. It still works. And I presumably that one was picked up. I haven't gotten any confirmation, but the next location that I chose to stash one of these was the North County Fair Mall in Escondido. All right, so I'm here with my brother. We're up at North County Fair Mall in Escondido, California, getting ready to do the second get back stash of this particular venture. So we'll have to find a cool spot inside. I'm thinking one of the skate shops, obviously like not in the skate shop because we don't want to like confuse people with stealing merchandise or anything. But I feel like outside like San Diego or Zoomies or somewhere like that would be pretty chill, so. that I chose for these stashes I wanted to really embrace the whole kind of theme and vibe of the necklaces and the company so I actually headed out to Ocean Beach which if I'm not mistaken might actually be where the company is initially based out of but I definitely headed down to Ocean Beach and I decided to leave this little guy with the lifeguard which is a statue next to one of the beach's lifeguard towers to honor and commemorate the you know first responder lifeguards of the San Diego location
one is actually very, very exciting because this is the only one that has actually been confirmed and communicated with me that was picked up and found. I had somebody on Instagram who took a picture and like let me know that it was found. So I'm very, very excited that it was able to get to one of you guys. If any of you happen to be the ones to pick up any of the other necklaces, I would absolutely love to know where they ended up, who got them. I just think it'd be real fun to see our reach. Like, who, who ended up with them? You know, who found them? Hopefully they were found and they weren't, like, you know, lost in any way. I can't imagine that they were, but you never know. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, one of you guys are going to have the opportunity to have found the last stash, which is located right here in this very video. One of you guys will have the opportunity to have this sent to you. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway of sorts is to let me know in the comments below what city you're from. Like, let me know your location, where you would have liked to have seen a stash take place. Go ahead and be subscribed to my channel and leave a like on this video so that way we can find as many people as possible and have it be a fun little stash. If you wanted a bonus entry on being able to get this for yourself, you can go ahead and follow my Instagram at what is love is the weapon and be sure to leave your Instagram username in your comment so I can verify that you are following me. And that is it. That is all you have to do. I will be contacting the winners through the YouTube comments to get your personal like contact. I'll be asking for like an Instagram DM or an email so that way I can officially contact you to get your shipping location safely and securely and be able to send this over to one of you guys. So this, op this opportunity will be available until the date that I have on the screen right now. I'll be honest, at the time of filming, I wasn't sure when exactly this was going to get posted, so I figured that was a job for editing me to figure out. So as long as the date on the screen right now has not already passed, you can still enter, leave your comment letting me know your location. Just like a city or a state, you know, it doesn't have to be creepy. I'm not trying to get any information out of y'all. I just thought it would be like a fun little uh, way to participate in the stash. But yeah, definitely leave me a comment and be sure to be subscribed to my channel and one of you guys are going to get your very own get back necklace. And again, if you did not have the opportunity to snag one of these for yourself, you can always purchase one from their website at Get Back Necklaces using the code AMBERCAITLIN20 for 20% off of your own order. And for full official legal giveaway rules, I will leave those down in the description box below. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had a blast hanging out with y'all. Peace.